So today I'm going to be doing a few things such as painting the engine and also putting bed liner spray on top of the deck. Um, as you can see, I already have primer on here. This is heat resistant primer and I'm just waiting it to dry just a little bit more and I'm going to be putting gloss black uh, heat resistant paint. So uh, yeah, that's how it's going. It's going looking really good. Uh, these, I'm going to remove the covers um, because I'm going to be painting it the same color that I painted the headers. It's like a light gray. So um, don't mind the overspray on those. So yeah, that's how she looks. Uh, it's going pretty well so far. Here I have my uh, gloss paint, heat resistant paint, and uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see what she looks like. Man, that actually looks really good. It's gonna look like a brand new motor. <laughs> it's crazy what paint can do. So what we have here is a few parts from the airboat that I'm painting, and um, the color I'm gonna use on these is that type of gray that I use on the headers already, so gonna should come out uh, looking pretty good I have one coat on these and just waiting for them to dry to put another and I'm gonna put the color on they come out looking uh, pretty good actually they're still a little bit wet but you guys get the idea of how it's gonna look all right so it's a new day I did a few things already to the engine I put another coat on this motor it's been drying off it's pretty much dried um, as you can see, I took the tape off of that. I put the dipstick already in, the new spark plugs. It's actually looking really good. I got my uh, the block off plate where the old fuel pump went, put that in. And, and um, I took the headers off because I actually uh, put the wrong paint on it instead of putting header paint on here. So I did find the correct color that I wanted. I already put paint stripper and took all the paint right off. This is the stuff I got, header paint. Uh, this stuff will uh, work work pretty well. It's the same color that I've been using on the airboat. It's like a gray metallic color. So these are the valve covers. I have a paint remover on here. And it's just been sitting here. I do have to take all the paint. It's already coming off, as you can see. I'm barely even putting any pressure. Because uh, I'm going to repaint these. And I have new gaskets to put on these. So here are the valve covers. I already put um, a coat of primer on it and one layer of paint. I'm going to be putting a few more coats on here. And uh, that uh, paint remover stuff I used before took most of the paint off. Like, they actually look pretty good. So here I'm going to put a little bit more of this paint on. I'm waiting for the valve covers to dry so I can put them on. I have the carb on. Um, I have to put the intake tubes on here and I'm probably going to call it a day. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to be cutting out a couple gaskets because I can't really find them and I really don't want to order them because it's going to take uh, probably you know a couple of days to receive them and I want to get this done. So I'm just going to trace, um, trace these out and cut them out and hopefully uh, they work. So I did a trace out of the four gaskets that I need. These are parts for the oil cooler. And I'm just gonna have to cut these out and I'll have new gaskets. What this is, it's a gasket paper and you just uh, trace out your own gasket and pretty much uh, make your own gasket. So it works out for me. So I got the holes cut out on this and now I'm just gonna get my scissors and cut my outline out. So here's one of my gaskets and it's gonna go on the bottom of this right here and it's gonna look just like that it's not perfect but it will do just fine so there we go i got my uh four gaskets cut out so i have the oil cooler hanging up here and there's two pieces that connects to it that connects to the engine and um, it's ready to get primed and i'm gonna put some paint on it So I have the oil cooler on, it's all painted, uh, it's completely installed and it's looking really good on this engine. This engine is uh, pretty much all painted and just have to do a few more things and I'm going to start it here soon. So I do have the carburetor off and that's because I noticed that the carburetor does overflow with fuel and I did notice uh, that it wasn't seating properly and I'm not sure what this is called but there's a needle in here 
and it's supposed to seal you know when the, the when the carb is full with fuel but it doesn't so it just keeps overflowing and the needle tip it's made out of like a, it's like rubber it was disintegrated so it just wasn't sealing so I'm gonna go to a carb shop and hopefully they have the part for me all right, so I went to this place called Guaranteed Carburetors, and they do a lot of carburetors. They do inboards, they do cars, um, and you could actually ship carburetors to these people, and they will rebuild them and ship them back to you. And they actually had the part that I needed uh, because the uh, needle in my old one, I'm not sure what this is called, uh, it had a broken tip on it, so it was letting too much fuel in there. So these guys, they gave me uh, a new part, and an onboard fuel filter, and it just connects to here with the 3 8 um, barb on it. And got two new gaskets for my carb. They only charge me nine bucks. Uh, I would totally give them a call if you guys are need needing a carb rebuild, give them a call and they will definitely uh, uh, work, work with you and help you out. Their prices are really reasonable. I'm here right now and couldn't be any happier. So here she is. Uh, as you can see, everything's pretty much on here. I just bolted on the headers and I'm um, gonna start the engine up so uh, the paint on the headers and the engine block itself could cure. So the engine on this airboat is completely finished. It looks great, uh, runs perfect. I have to do a, a few more things, like I'm putting an insulation on these spark plug wires to clean it up. I don't have overspray, but the insulation will uh, cover all that up. Um, I do have to put my bed liner on here. I choose a uh, dark brown color, and I have to polish the side, and the rudders have to do those. I'm gonna polish that, I'm gonna attempt it and a few electrical things and she'll be on the water uh so stay tuned for more videos on this airboat appreciate you guys for watching this video yeah.